Sorry, hang. Where are you going with that camera? I'm just, I'm just... You're not a vlogger, are you? So you may have heard on the news recently, there's actually a hotel in Dublin which has banned vloggers. And I'm not even joking. Long story short, a YouTuber had emailed the hotel asking for a free stay. The hotel then declined and posted the email onto Facebook with a really long paragraph, which I really can't be bothered to read. And just when you think it's done, this YouTuber has been mugged off. She's completely embarrassed. The hotel slash cafe then posted saying that all bloggers are banned. And the one thing that really annoyed me about the whole situation is the fact that the owner, Paul, who I actually talked to later on the video, took the actions of one person and then used those actions to negatively portray bloggers and vloggers. I felt really strongly about this so I booked my flights and the next morning I was on my way to Dublin. Before you guys actually get into the video I'm trying to hit 200k by the end of this month so if you don't mind please hit that subscribe button down below it'll mean the world to me. Enjoy the video. So it's actually the night slash morning before the flight. It's currently 2:49 a.m. as you can see. I need to wake up at 7 which means I'm only gonna get like four and a bit hours sleep. So as you can tell I'm actually at the airport now, my flight is in like 10 minutes so I've literally timed this to perfection. My gate is 55 and it says a 10 minute walk and boarding closes in 10 minutes. Great. Enjoy it cause you fucking love yourself All you ever think about is you Have you ever thought that I got feelings too? Well baby, yeah I do Your mind is based on the coverage of personal desire Can someone tell me why there's a massive off pole just in the ground. Does it even serve a purpose? It's actually quite sunny here as well. It's not even that cold and also there's trams. Look at this thing. It's literally a train but on the road. I thought it would be a good idea to go check out a museum. One in particular which I think is going to be funny the National Leprechaun Museum I don't want to lose them any business or anything but in the nicest possible way save yourself the time don't go to this museum the only good thing that I actually got from it was an Instagram okay so I was just at the shopping center and I fell into one of those traps where they're like oh can I have a minute of your time and then I end up buying a 30 euro face cream just because I want better skin and now I've just realized I can't take it home on the plane because it's 150 mil and the maximum is 100 mil I didn't really know what to expect but let's just say that things turned out a lot differently to how I thought they would I got to the cafe and surprisingly enough I actually ended up vlogging so I'm in the cafe now I've got my food and I'm actually vlogging I didn't want to start vlogging until I actually got my food just in case they kick me out before I got my food. But now if they kick me out, then I'm just going to get free food. Like, oh no. I also actually saw the guy who like, runs it all upstairs in the hotel. So I think I'm going to go upstairs after and try to talk to him. So I finished my food. It was actually quite good, except the fact that I hate mushrooms. I'm not really too sure what to do now. I just feel a bit awkward. So what happened next was not expected. I went upstairs into the hotel and asked to speak to Paul, the man who runs the hotel. I found Paul and I then asked him if he was free for a moment just to have a chat and he surprisingly said yes. And here is my conversation with Paul who owns a hotel which has banned vloggers. Hello everybody, Ben is obviously a great vlogger. Very true. Because he's using a G7X. That is the camera used by the Sakani Jolies. It's the camera used by Rob Lipset. But most importantly, it's the camera used by Ben Morris. Remember the name. Wait, so you have a vlogging camera? Oh, we do! But you don't like vloggers? Bloggers. Video loggers <laughs> or vloggers. Oh, so you, oh, so you don't mind vloggers? Oh. You've ruined my title now. As um, long as they have over a certain number of subs, I'm imagining you have at least, and I'd say you're pretty good. Very true. What you have is balls. Again, very true. Okay. So you can just walk into this place and just, so that's what I admire. Well, so yeah, that's, that's what I've got to do for the, for the content, for so the that's vlog. That's what I'm saying, you're, you're probably good. What actually annoyed you about the fact that this lady asked for a free stay? Absolutely nothing. Hi there. You didn't have the decency and common courtesy to actually refer to me by my name. So it was a copy and paste email. Oh, okay. The fact that it wasn't oh, personalized was what pissed me off. I've given bloggers free stuff all in the cafe all the time. So are you over here for a few days? No, I just came for the day. So a gentleman just walked into the lounge and said, three words. Are you free? Who are you? And I said, you're a BuzzFeed reporter. <laughs> And he said, no, I'm a vlogger. Ladies and gentlemen, me, Ben. Ben is a 17-year-old vlogger from London. I admire in many ways. Thank you. he had the balls to actually come in and 
a lot of people would The key to being a good YouTuber is to have no shame. Yeah. Okay, so that was actually the video. If you did enjoy it, please make sure you subscribe, leave a like, comment down below. Also, if you're wondering why I have, you know, this black stuff on my face, it's because I have really bad. Oh.